Hi, this is Maginomicon, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the software that I use in, when I make my Let's Plays. Okay, I use an online tool and several pieces of software, the links to which I, uh, for downloading or using I'll, uh, I'll put them in the video description, so don't worry about that. Uh, the online tool I use is called online-stopwatch.com, which includes a countdown timer. Anyone that's been doing Let's Plays for a while knows that having a countdown timer is useful when you're trying to upload to sites like YouTube that have a 10 minute limit on how long the video can be. So using online-stopwatch.com, I simply set it to 9 minutes 30 seconds to give me a 30 second grace period at the end of the video. And uh, when it hits zero, it'll make an alarm and it'll flash the timer red and that'll indicate to me when I have this on my uh, other monitor that I need to pause the game immediately and wrap up the video um, so I can uh, get, to get to the next one in a uh, timely manner. Okay, so I can record an entire session like this and just reset the timer every time I want to start a new episode. Okay, uh, the next piece of software I use is called audio repeater. It's part of the virtual audio cable uh, software suite which is shareware but the trial version of uh, the suite works just fine for what we need to do. This is the audio repeater MME tool and if you, when you download it you'll see what I mean by that. There's two different tools. Um, this is the MME tool and what the audio repeater does is it allows me to repeat the audio coming in on one audio port and send it out to another audio port. And in this case, I'm using my external sound cards, microphone, and speaker ports and sending a unpowered mic through it, through the software, and out through the speaker port on my external sound card, powered, and then I send that into the mixer that I talked about in my hardware video. And so an unpowered mic, which, wasn't, uh, which I couldn't use with the, mi uh, well, with the mixer on its own, I send through this software and be it becomes powered, uh, which means I can use it with the mixer. And so this is required in order to get this system to work. Okay, uh, the next thing I do is uh, actually part of the operating system itself, and this is the way Vista uh, uses it, but you can probably do this with other operating systems as well, is you can set a uh, default playback device. Now, I'm using my uh, external sound card speakers for the repeater, and so I have a different default audio playback device set up for uh, my computer on its own. I'm setting it up like this because of the way I'm doing this video, but typically what I do is I select this Line 1 virtual audio cable. This dummy port on your computer is automatically set up uh, on playback and on recording, uh, the rec playback and recording tabs, uh, when you install virtual audio cable. And that's very useful for Let's Plays because what this does is it allows us to uh, stick, send the, uh, the, any other audio that comes out of the computer out th on that line instead of trying to use uh, its other its ordinary line uh, that I normally use, uh, which in this case is the speakers of my external sound card. If I didn't do this, it would create an audio feedback loop. In your case, this will probably be what you'll be using for the repeater, and this is what going what you're going to want to set as the default audio playback uh, in order to prevent a uh, audio feedback loop that just gets a lot of screeching noises. Okay, uh, so the by use for recording software is HP's Quick Play. HP's Quick Play comes standard on all HP laptops as far as I know, but I'll provide a link in the, the video description that'll allow you to download it no matter what uh, where your uh, what your computer uh, manufacturer is, and I think it'll work anyway. In any case, um, what I use this for is I, it interfaces with my TV tuner. And so I'm gonna load it up in the multimedia section of the Quick Play, and it's going to load up my uh, the things I can record with, and I'm going to select my TV Tuner's S video port. Okay, and it's going to load here the uh, the game. Okay, and you can see that I'm uh, I've got a game going on at the moment, and you can't hear it. It's Shadow of the Colossus, and I can just go full screen and click record and record a long session, and uh, every time the that online timer goes off, I simply uh, pause. Uh, pause the game, provide some kind of transition statement, uh, and then start recording again as soon as I'm ready to continue. And I unpause the game and keep going. That's what I, I've been doing for all my Shadow of Colossus videos so far. Okay, um, so yeah. Uh, I also use Windows uh, Movie Maker to uh, split the, uh, the long recording session into episode parts. Thanks for listening.